All right, everybody, welcome back. My name is Gillis the Kid, and I have another review here for you. This time, we're going to be looking at the Xbox Series X user interface. And it's even earlier in the morning now on this lovely Christmas day. And we're going to be taking a look. I'm not really a big fan of Windows 10. There's a lot going on here, but uh, bear with me here. Now, in the upper left-hand corner, you can see um, it's sort of like an avatar icon. It's got a game of score, and uh, it shows like an email and stuff like this. This is just my sample profile. You can see that it says uh, one plus profile up there, so I do have another one that I use. Don't worry, though. I'm not reverse boosting or anything like that. Um, but if you click on it, um, it's going to say my profile, my account, and my subscriptions. It'll also show everybody that's online. And you can change your uh, picture if you want. And and if you go if you go all the way over, it'll say home, my games and apps, and then at the bottom it'll have audio and music. You can search. There's the Microsoft Store, the Xbox Game Pass, and notifications. And then if you move over to the right. You can see all of your friends that are online. You can see your gamer score. You can look for groups. Or you can find someone else online if you want. These are party and chats. So you can start a party if you want. There's chat requests and different stuff like that. Uh, game activity. It'll show what you're playing. It'll show all of your achievements, and if you have it set to where your friends can see it, um, you can show that as well. Capture and share. Um, on the Xbox Series X controller, there's a new share button, so you can just press it and start recording. I've used this um, on the Xbox One. I haven't used it on the new console yet, but I do plan to just to see what it looks like. And then you can capture uh, screenshots and you can share your last capture too. They have all different kinds of settings like uh, duration and resolution. Yep, and then there's your profile and system. You can also add or switch between different profiles. There's the settings and uh, they have Xbox Assist and your power button. So if you click that, you can choose to turn off the console. You can turn off the controller. Or you can restart the console if you want. All right, so that's just a little mini menu when you click that icon at the top. Now moving down, you're going to see all these little square boxes. So you have the uh, Xbox Game Pass, the Microsoft Store. Um, you can rearrange all this stuff too if you want now. If you have the Xbox One, you have probably have gotten the update by now. So it's, it's going to look exactly like the new console. But uh, let's go into the Xbox Store real quick here. So... Um, yeah, you have the Xbox Store. And then if you move over to the left, you're going to see all these different submenus. So you have Search. If you press the Y button, there's Home, Games, Movies, and TV. You have Apps and Hardware. You can also create a wish list. You can add stuff to cart. And you can redeem uh, like the Microsoft cards that you can you can buy. There's settings, um, but yeah, there's there's always like a lot of different blocks. Um, now moving down to games, it's going to show um, like your add-ons, subscriptions. There's uh, the top new games. Games coming soon, top free games, 
there's the top paid games, and then they have something which is called Optimize for the Series X slash S. Uh, I'll get to that in a minute. I'll explain what that is. Now, Xbox Game Pass is sort of like uh, Xbox version of Netflix. Um, it's very similar to uh, what Sony is doing with the PlayStation Now. And uh, with a subscription, you can basically play whatever they have available. That's some of the games. These are the movies. Um, when Xbox first came out, they were really big on like home entertainment systems. So uh, providing games, movies, stuff like that. There's TV shows. You also have um, like the apps. So Netflix, ESPN, Pandora. So yeah, let's look at Let's actually go in and look at some of the games. So this is what it's going to look like when you actually want to go in and buy a game. And there's different icons on it too. So let's just say, for instance, if you wanted to get Hitman 3, um, it'll say Optimized for the Series X and S. And optimize basically means... Um, you know, it's going to look really good on the new consoles. And then at the top, you will also see something called Smart Delivery. And uh, in a nutshell, Smart Delivery basically means if I buy Hitman 3 on the Xbox One and I upgrade to the new console, I can basically play Hitman 3 on the new console at no extra cost. So that's basically what Smart Delivery is. And then um, this particular game comes with a bundle. That's why it's $79.99. Um, you can see at the top it says bundle. And you can also pre-order it because it doesn't come out until the end of next month. You'll see that it has a uh, pre-order icon up there. And uh, these are some of the new games like Medium coming out. Uh, for the Series X and S, um, you will actually be able to get that on a uh, Game Pass when it first comes out. And there's a there's a lot of different games. So uh, we're gonna go back to the home screen here. Now, if you go down again, you're gonna see Xbox Game Pass. Like I said. It's a Xbox version of uh, Netflix. Normally, it's fourteen ninety nine for three months. They have a special holiday offer now, so you can get it for a dollar, and you can't beat that. Um, yeah, so these are some of the like popular games. You got Star Wars, Ark. There's Battlefield Five, Control. They also have like recently added games. And if you click, if you go to the top and click on uh, Game Pass, uh, that's basically what it's going to show you. So you get a uh, high quality games for the console, PC, and Android devices. It also includes something called EA Play. You will also get the Xbox Live membership. You need Xbox Live to play online with your friends. And they add new games all the time. Yep. And there's also like little blocks you can uh, click on like deals and search. It's going to take some getting used to, especially if you're new to uh, like Windows 10. There's also the community, so you can see people that are like streaming live. You can see what they're playing. You can also join with them if you want. There's events. You can also pin certain apps to your home screen. 
And then there's the Xbox Live Gold membership that you can get. Uh, but the Game Pass is probably going to be your best bet. Uh, the Game Pass Ultimate will give you um, Xbox Live and EA Play too. So when we go into the store, uh, these are some of the games. So these are all the new games. Now one thing you one thing you want to uh, be careful of, especially um, with these new games, is see how that said. See how that says cross gen bundle. Uh, some of the games don't have that, so um, if you want the best optimized experience, just make sure you get the one for the new consoles, and you don't pick the one for the Xbox One. Uh, same thing with Assassin's Creed. Um, it'll have that icon there. It'll say optimized with smart delivery. They have different editions of games, so you just have to be aware of that. And then they have the free games like uh, Warzone, there's Fortnite, uh, GTA 5. Now, one of the things that I do like about Sony uh, is that they have... Um, they have like the PlayStation Now where you can play uh, like the PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, and PlayStation 4. But uh, Xbox, they have something that's even better, uh, which is backwards compatible with the original Xbox games and the uh, Xbox 360. So you get a really big catalog with Microsoft. Uh, I'm not saying that... Uh, you know, PlayStation Plus is better or anything like that, but Xbox has a lot of games, um, and they are optimized to play on the new system, too. So you get the original Xbox games, you get the Xbox 360 games. I had Xbox 360 for, like, seven years, so I have a lot of achievements with that. And uh, now Microsoft, they they bought uh, Rare. So that's what they do. They buy a lot of game developers and publishers. So you're going to see games like Banjo-Kazooie, which was originally on the Nintendo 64. There's also a couple of Sega Dreamcast games that you can play, like Crazy Taxi and uh, Knights. But yeah, there's a lot of games. Uh, in my opinion, uh, Microsoft, they have a better backwards compatibility system going on. It, I mean, it just goes on and on and on. Like, look at all these games you can play. And they're super cheap now, too. Um, yeah, it, it just goes on and on and on. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have for now as far as the UI. It's pretty much the same as the Xbox One since the last update. And uh, they've made the blocks smaller now. It does seem a little bit faster. But let me know what you think. I'm going to have some more videos coming up soon. I hope everybody have a happy and safe holiday. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.